This opening concert of the festival really, I think, gives a, an overview of American music. American music, it's not one thing and one thing only. I think that one of the important qualities about American music is the representation of a wide and varied and diverse group of voices. And for me, American jazz played a huge role in the development of American music. So we see that for, starting in 1920, really jazz influences everything in American music. And that is one of the underlying themes of this program. So I'm starting with a piece by a composer named James P. Johnson. And you probably never heard of him, but he wrote the Charleston. And he was a black American composer who wanted and aspired to write for symphony orchestra and did write for symphony orchestra. But his music was played once and nobody knew where it was. So in the late 1980s, I started looking for it. And I found it eventually, seven years took me, uh, and I restored it and it's now available um, for orchestras to play. And he's kind of the missing link between Scott Joplin and Duke Ellington. And from that, I go to the symphony by Samuel Barber, which is, you know, you can hear jazz elements in it, but it's really about the romanticism of America and, uh, and the big ideas, big melodies. And to open the second half, I'm going to do two fanfares, of course, there's the most famous fanfare, American fanfare, the Copeland Fanfare for the Common Man, which everybody knows. And then there's a less famous, but I hope, I hope it will eventually be even more famous, a fanfare by uh, Joan Tower called Fanfare for the Uncommon Woman. And uh, I'm very humbled to say that it, it's dedicated to me. And it has the same instrumentation as the Copeland, but it's a very different, it's more, um, more contrapuntal, lots more moving lines, and uh, more complex, as you would, of course, imagine. And then, of course, I wanted to do something by my teacher, Leonard Bernstein. So three dance episodes from On the Town. These are just really, really fun, but also very challenging pieces for the orchestra. And of course, Bernstein was a master at combining jazz and serious music. So that's a little bit of a window into that. And then, we're gonna close with the iconic piece. I think probably the quintessential American piece, uh, Rhapsody in Blue. But I didn't wanna just play that piece again. I wanted the audience to hear it in a different way. So I invited Marcus Roberts and his trio to play. So it's, it's a little bit of a different take. Some of it's improvised. I'm not sure if American music um, is irreverent, but I think it does defy the rules to a certain extent. And I think it also has a lot of humor in it, which is not something we typically associate with classical music. So those elements to me are definitely quintessentially American. And uh, I hope people leave the concert with a smile on their faces.